Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. First off, I'd like to apologize for not having a video last week for our fly patterning series, our tying flies series. Uh, we actually did a little bit of fishing and we were out of town for the week, so didn't get to put up a video for fly tying, but we're back this week and we're going to go ahead and keep to the theme of easy to tie beginner flies. This here we're going to be tying is the caddis larva. Uh, this fly works great all year long. Um, and it's a very, very simple fly to tie. So let's go over the materials we'll need. First off, we're gonna be using some Allen Fly Fishing N203 size 20 hooks. We've used these before. These are the curved hooks. Uh, we're also going to be using an Allen Fly Fishing br brass bead. Here is the in a black nickel and a size 2.0 millimeter. Uh, we're also gonna be using some UTC 70 denier thread in a green olive. And we are going to be using some D rib. Here is a size medium in a chartreuse. I'll show you. I'll tell you why we, we use a medium on such a small fly here when we get to tying the fly. So let's go. Uh, we're also going to be using some uh, strong peacock curl. So let's go. We already have the hook in the vise here with the bead on it. And here is a little trick for you guys. Um, get yourself some easy hackle pliers. These things will make putting this small bead on this small hook very easy. You just, when the, the hook is off the, the vise, you just put it into there, into the easy hackle pliers, and then thread your bead on. Sometimes you have to mash the barb to get the bead on, and then put the bead around, and then this will make it very simple for you to handle such a small hook and bead. So get yourself some of these, they work very well. All right, so let's go ahead and um, get the camera zoomed in on here and get started on tying this fly. All right guys, so we have the bead and are the hook in the vise with the bead. We're gonna go ahead and start our thread right behind the, the bead. And we're gonna go ahead and cut off our tag end. And you're gonna wanna get your D-rib. Now, if you look at a D-rib, it has a flat side and a rounded side. You want to make sure that you tie this down with the flat side against the shank of the hook, like so. And then you're going to want to wrap back. While you're wrapping back, you want to take the D-rib and pull it tight. Put some tension on it so it flattens out and you can tie it down much closer and flush to the hook and you'll not build up so much bulk with this medium sized D-rib. Then you go ahead and wrap back forward and the reason why we're using this medium sized D-rib is because you want to make sure that the, the the body of the fly stands out. It'll stand out by using this D-rib. You'll see here in just a second as I wrap this forward. So now you're going to want to go ahead and wrap it forward and as you wrap forward pull tight. Not super super tight but tight enough to where the D-rib lays down flat and it has that nice segregated body real pronounced by using a little bit bigger D-rib than you normally would use and using on this size fly which is medium size so you go ahead and wrap down that D-rib and you go ahead and grab a hold of it, pull on it with your fingers here, pull it so when you cut it, it'll suck back into the, the threads there. And you go ahead and lay down a little bit more threads here, and you work your way back to right about there. Get yourself your peacock here, and cut off the tip, the brittle tip, and make sure that you tie this in right where you ended those wraps with the D-rib. Come up behind the bead and go ahead and wrap your peacock here. And you could probably get, well, 
broke on me there, but you probably get three or four wraps in, in on this before you're you're adding too much bulk at the head. So let me go ahead and rewrap this since it broke on me. Not a big deal. Just be careful. Go ahead and capture that. And then cut off your excess. Nice and close. Get your whip finish tool. Do a three or four turn whip finish there. Seat the knot. Go ahead and cut it off. And you're good to go. You have a nice, if you can see there, how, how really nice those wrap, those that D-rib looks on this fly. Makes it look really buggy. And it looks even better in the water. All right, guys. I hope you guys tie some of these up. They work really well. They're really easy to tie. And if you're a beginner, this is a very good fly to learn how to tie on. Uh, to do your wraps with, the, with your D-rib. And add in a little bit of um, some peacock curl on there. And... They fish really well. Catches a bunch of fish in the wintertime. Catches a bunch of fish in the summertime. Uh, more if you guys enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys in the next video.